Say, bro, I'm really so glad that you can make it in today, man. Like, for real. I know that it's normally your day off on Sundays and you chill with the family and all of that. But I really, really, really needed you to, to talk to you about this event from yesterday. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad that you can make it in. So, uh, let, let, let's, let me sit down. You know, let me, have, let me talk to you real quick and let y'all know what's going on and all of that. Um... Chrome 23, Chrome 23 went down yesterday and uh, I, I got so many things to say. I, in order to get this right, I gotta, I gotta break it down. Every single line that I've sketched about. Salute to uh, Remy Ma, Chrome 23, uh, that whole thing getting put together, but this one was not good. Um, there's things that you can build off of though, I'll tell you that right. So first of all, I'm from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the Bronx, 233rd, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not gonna go crazy left with it because I think that what you're doing for battle rap is great. Like what Remy Ma is doing, I love to see people get their bag. I love to see people get money. I love to see people, you know, do their thing. Like on, you know, they get to do these things on these platforms build out branch out she's built she's helping build female battle rap and things like that but the aesthetic look good where it's happened in that is good but there are so many things that are going wrong technically with this type of event that people are not gonna rock with it. you know what i'm saying like if you don't get this stuff together as soon as hell like your next event you don't have another event after this to have these kind of mistakes. The stream was crashing. I only watched it for like a quick second. Once the stream start crashing, I'm going to show my kids, fuck this, I don't have time. Like, people work so hard to get to their weekends, and a weekend, sometimes these cards and battle rap, it'll be four battles, it'll take eight hours. Like, bro, we not doing no wasting Saturdays. Niggas don't got Saturdays to waste. And with the stream not going well, the stream cutting in and out, Buffering sign coming up, nigga. We not dealing with that. Like, niggas just going to go on about their day. I had a great day. You want to know how my day was? I took my daughter out. She did good in school. Uh, you know, I chilled with the fam. I'm not wasting my time. It's not going to happen. Like, I will not. Like, I had mad people hitting me up, asking me for recaps. I'm like, bro, I ain't got no fucking recap. What recap do I have? I don't got nothing to recap. Nothing. I seen Shuni ask, where's the recaps? Who won Chrome 23? I said, laugh my ass off. I doubt any stream was nasty work. Niggas got Saturdays. Niggas don't got Saturdays to waste looking at a buffering sign. And if you hit the Chrome 23 uh, on Twitter, like the hashtag, yo, these comments, yo, you don't want an event where everybody's complaining. Salute to Ms. VA's finest, you know, battle rap fan who really supports battle rap and, and rocks with the culture. She says, I don't want no updates from in the building, people. And I don't want to watch waste a Sunday watching battles that I paid for on a Friday and Saturday. I want to watch the event in real time. And then someone else said, they acting like they're doing us a favor by saying it's going to be up on Sunday. I got plans on Sunday. Niggas said, damn, so they want our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Nah. Ref Nelson, another person in battle rap. And these are all off the hashtag. At this point, I'll just watch the battles when they drop and chalk it up as a loss. You know? Um, rest in peace, Chrome 23. It was a great league. Uh, you know, if Debo had an event like this, y'all would be killing him. First battle was choppy, but I got someone up 2-1. Like, et cetera, et cetera. It just keeps going, right? So, it's hard to sell a product. Like, first of all, Mad Diggas was like, yo, first dream was like, like I said, I respect the efforts that Remy did to try to mitigate the situation. Friday's stream was not good, so she said she fired everybody and brought in a new group. On Saturday's group, they did worse than Friday. Like, it wasn't even better. Like, it, But it's so hard to get quality help in such a short amount of time to work a stream like that where thousands of people are watching. You know, I don't know if these niggas was off McDonald's Wi-Fi or Chipotle Wi-Fi. I don't fucking know. But I'm going to say it like this. And, you know, I speak... I, there's people that watch these blogs, you know what I'm saying, and try to get in the pen because there's people... The reason why is... The battle rap culture facilitates into the media. The media puts it out to the people and they let people know. They want to know who won these battles. I would have loved to be able to give y'all a Hustle vs. Vixen recap. I heard. I heard. I can say what I heard, but I'm not going to be like, this person won a battle when I didn't see it. The shit was not good at all. And Remy, like I said, what she's doing for battle rap 
It's amazing because once people get on, they make their money, they go on and do their thing in hip hop, they don't be looking to provide no opportunities. They don't be looking to try to help out other people. But what she's doing is great or what she's trying to do is great. But what we got to do, whether it be media, whether it be other artists, whether it be other league owners that rock with her, got to kind of give her the game like, yo, you, you know, I know you feel like you're coming into because what you're doing has never been. It's not what some shit that hasn't been done before. It's battle rap. That's what you're doing. These niggas ain't battling on beats. Niggas ain't battling none of that. It's regular, straight up, RBE, URL, King of the Dot, any other league style battles. Three rounds, acapella, crowd, mic, camera. Now, a lot of people are joking about the avocado thing. Like, yo, she needs to holler out avocado. She needs to hire avocado. I know there's some people who's like, nah, I'm not fucking with avocado after the shit that he did. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. But listen, if you're not going to hire him, which I, you know, I'm not a lawyer for him. I don't have no saying, no dog in this fight, no fighting. I don't have no dog in the fight. But you gotta have somebody out there that's gonna be able to handle the service. If you're not gonna be able to do that, just don't do live pay per view. Just record all of the battles and release them. But y'all wanna make a profit because you're selling the pay per view for forty dollars. This gas is five, six dollars a gallon. Niggas is not paying five dollars a gallon for gas, and they're gonna turn around and pay forty, fifty dollars to see no event or to attend it. Which is even worse, you know what I'm saying? Like, audio sounded crazy, stream is messed up. But, like I said, she don't want to take these losses because these MCs are not free. The battlers cost money. You got to pay for battlers. You got to pay for hotels. You got to pay back ends. You got to pay travel. You got to pay all of this shit. So, overall, what I'm basically saying is, while the event wasn't good, her intentions are good. But she's got to have the right people in line. You cannot... My, my, my grandma would say, you never be cheap with your tires. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she was cheap, but with your tires, your tires are under your car. Your car protects your life. You go get the cheapest brand of tires and you crash and die. You know, don't be cheap with tattoos. Don't be cheap with tires. You, babe, you put a tattoo on you, that's going to be on your body for the rest of your life. You will hope that you put some money into the work. I know niggas do nasty work all the time. But, um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. It gets an L overall, but... It's recoverable because uh, y'all could fix these issues. They're not going to be able to be fixed on the spot. Like, you can't fix them like today. You can't fix how anybody feels yesterday. And the reason why I say this is Chrome 23, you're losing customers. Once you get a bad taste from somewhere, y'all niggas know. If you go to a restaurant, and it could be a pretty acclaimed restaurant. If you have shitty service, a bad waiter, and your food takes forever to come out, you may never go back to that restaurant again. And then, not only will you not go back to that restaurant, you'll tell other people to not go to the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it. Like, so a motherfucker would tell you, nah, I don't fuck with that restaurant. Nah, hell no, the food is good, service is bad. Ah, I'm not rocking with it. And they can literally talk people out of it. So, with that being said, with these comments, like, and this is literally on Twitter, like, Chrome website is not working. Chrome 23. Like, they're literally, if you scroll down my timeline, bro, when you lose your job because you messed up real bad. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, Remy was trying, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm, I, but this is what it was. Look, all night, Chrome 23, offline. Offline. And then the other fucked up shit you do is y'all be saying that the event is gonna start at three o'clock and the shit don't start till five, bro. Y'all don't got that URL shit to y'all. Y'all are not them. Everybody's gonna be judged upon the work that they do. You can't tell people some shit is gonna start at three and then three thirty, four o'clock, five o'clock. Niggas got weekends, they not gonna waste their weekends. And the only I'm a, like it's only like five or six or seven niggas in the world who could put out a message about this and people are gonna listen. Y'all gotta get this shit together. Seriously, or y'all niggas gonna be selling work up to the niggas of Queens. Go find that man. Do not come back and find that until you find that man, B. Cause this shit is this shit is crazy, son. Like this shit was not good. I can keep going down. Uh you know. Uh but what I will say is this. Uh they will they will uh they'll probably release the whole stream on YouTube, but and it was crazy because I seen like niggas was going from uh, they tried to do the live stream, they tried to put the shit on YouTube, even down to Remy Ma's IG live. They was try they tried everything that they could do, but bro, sound checks for all this type of shit has to be done in advance. 
streaming to make sure the stream works has to be done in advance. It cannot happen the day, and I'm not saying it happened the day of or the day before. I'm not. But what I will say is this. Uh, we're spoiled. Battle Rap community is spoiled. They have Twitch. They have Caffeine. All the, Caffeine had issues when they first started, but they worked through them. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they first had their first Genesis stream, that shit was crashing like a motherfucker. That shit was crashing. Crash, crash, crash. So we've seen these issues before. Is it recoverable? Yes, it is. They could potentially bounce back, get a better stream, get a better service. But the reason why I say this is because I know Remy ain't trying to take a loss. These are some, some of these battles cost money. That Rum Nitty versus Young Gaddis, they're not cheap. Uh, Vixen versus Hustle, they're not cheap. Ad versus um, Official is not cheap. Those are some really quality battles. And I would suggest overall getting a better streaming service or streaming provider, whatever the case may be, get off that Chipotle Wi-Fi. Let some fans in that motherfucker for free. Sometimes you gotta take a loss to become a boss. I know niggas are trying to sell tickets. I mean, the media and shit like that, that's cool letting them in. But sometimes you might have to grab some fans like, yo, you support our movement. Yo, tweet it out, da 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 and give away some tickets to get some bodies in the building. Because I, from what the looks of it, it didn't look like it was packed from front to back. But I mean, I know that takes time. But yo, I'm gonna call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. This is my channel, this is my views, this is my idea. Um, Friday stream was bad. Saturday stream was bad. Two days in a row, bad streams. If it's another league, we're gonna kill them too. It doesn't matter who it is. Cause you're trying to play with the big dogs. When you come up here and you playing on this level, your shit gotta be right. It gotta be right. Now there's gonna be kinks. I'm not tripping. There will be kinks, there will be small things that have to be adjusted here and there. But you can't have a whole stream where both days niggas is like, yo, this shit is crazy. My stream is not working out. I don't see, out of all 2030 that I've strolled down, uh, you know, I don't really see too many niggas with really good comments, you know what I'm saying? Like about the fucking, um, about the stream. The stream is down. Audio is jacked. Uh... I know battle leagues who ain't got twelve dollars with more successful streams than this. Is, yo, I know battle leagues who ain't got twelve dollars with more successful streams than the Chrome pay per view. This shit is crazy. So I, I'm done. I'm done reading the, all of the tweets. These are the tweets. This is the hashtag. This shit is trending in the wrong direction. Yo, I'm not gonna talk you niggas to death. Chrome twenty three, get y'all shit together. Holla at some niggas with some better audio quality and all of that. And I'm getting the fuck out of here.